Hello, welcome to episode 2 of Anno 1800. Last time we had a fun time getting started in our city here. You can check that video out. I'll link it up in the top right to see how we got here. But now we are pretty well established in our uh, starter island. We've got a little bit more we can do before we uh, are really, I would say, ready to uh, do most of what the game has to offer. And we have a couple of different things we can take care of. So we'll go ahead and dump right on in and get started by continuing to work our way up to our artisans, which is going to happen when we upgrade workers all the way. They currently don't have uh, any schools anywhere on our island. So we're going to have to go ahead and figure out where those are going to go. And then once that happens, we can think about maybe expanding to another island. There are a couple more. Well, this one actually, I think it just got claimed. There's a couple down here that are unclaimed, unsettled. And we're going to want to take a look at the different uh, fertilities up here in a little bit and see what might be a good idea. Of course, we have uh, other players and people that we can be trading with, but let's go ahead and get right back on into it. Rotate the camera around so it actually matches what the map's doing. So yeah, like I said, first thing we're going to want to do is go in here and start building schools so we can upgrade all of our workers to artisans. Well, not all of them, but a pretty good bit. So let's see, try to find a good spot where it's actually going to, uh, you know, connect to stuff. Probably, well, this is a, this is one of those woodcutters, so we're not going to want to do it there. I can't remember exactly what the range is on these things, but probably pretty safe to uh, just assume somewhere over here would be smart if we're going to keep expanding this direction, which I think we will. Keep in mind, we also have oil down here which we will unlock. Uh, I don't remember exactly when that occurs, but we're going to want to make sure that we have that accessible. So in keeping with that, I think we're going to want to go ahead and just stick this guy. That's kind of hard because I, I built this up so much. We might actually have to just kind of get rid of a couple of these houses and put one right in the middle as a uh, as bad as that might be, but we don't have to really get rid. We can just, you know, relocate stuff. So I think that's probably, in all honesty, the smartest thing to do. Just grab, say, these four and just shove them somewhere else. Because we are going to want our school to be relatively centrally located. So we can actually uh, upgrade the core of the town into the wealthier, I guess, class is what these guys end up being. So let's go ahead and get these hooked back up over here. And once this starts taking effect, you're going to see some of these, and actually it's already starting, go up to 20 residents, and then we'll be able to upgrade them to artisans. And then that opens up an entire new tech tree down here, which we will have to uh, figure out exactly how we're going to deal with that. So just real quick, um, there's only certain things, I can't remember if we discussed this last time or not, but there's only certain things you can grow on certain islands. So our starting one has fertility for potatoes, grain, red peppers, and I guess nitrate, whatever, nitrate, what, I, I don't know what that word is. I've never seen that before, but some sort of other thing we can use here. And this one adds fertility for hops in exchange for red peppers. And this one is, well, it's actually exactly the same in terms of fertility, but it has some other resources. It has the addition of limestone, whereas this one has clay iron, coal, and oil springs. This one has clay, iron, coal, zinc, and limestone. I somehow managed to miss the zinc. This one over here has other stuff still. Hops, we're probably going to want to settle this one because we're going to have to have beer. Uh, iron, coal, zinc, copper, and limestone. So I think this is going to be our next move as soon as we have the ability to create a colony, which I believe we can do just by sailing a ship over with the... Uh, Required materials to actually start one. I always have to remember that we're turned around on our uh, map orientation, so I can't just click and drag and expect it to make sense. But let's check and see if we can upgrade anybody. Oh wow, these can all be upgraded for a. Uh... All right, cool. Well, you reached a new milestone. The age of fine craftsmanship. Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade a handful of these guys to artisans. And take a look at our tech tree here, uh, Expeditions. 
we... All I ever desired was a place to live and work. Well, we'll take care of you, don't worry. These fabled lands exist after all. We're not going to get into those just yet. That might have to wait for a little bit. I've been playing through other playthroughs outside of YouTube and uh, streaming and all that stuff. And I've gotten kind of far, actually, with uh, expeditions. There's a lot of fun stuff in there. But right now, I want to make sure we focus on getting stuff on this side of the map taken care of. If you're not familiar with Anno 1800, the expeditions are kind of like a visual novel style addition to the game where you make different choices and... Uh, sail around different parts of the map and you can unlock new areas when you successfully complete those so they're a lot of fun unlocks a lot of new content but we have so much to take care of here i'm not worried about doing that right now like i said artisans open up new stuff uh, specifically canned food is an interesting one because it requires farming red peppers and cattle and then of course windows are required for certain other buildings and then later on we can get all sorts of other fun stuff and additions to the docklands and all that so there's plenty for us to be doing but i think right now see if i can remember what the uh what the uh, requirements for having a, a colony are i think it's a certain amount of steel and a certain amount of wood so let's see we have our schooner and then we have our flagship i think we're gonna go ahead and load up our flagship uh let's say i can't remember exactly how much it is so we'll just uh We'll just fill up two slots and we'll go ahead and uh, sail down here. See where might be a good spot for us to uh, make landfall. There's a beach there. This is all cliffs, not really. Uh... Okay, so I guess we're going to have to go right here on this side. So we'll come on down here and see what we're able to do. We can land either here or uh, maybe here. But I think it just makes more, the most sense to land on... Uh, well, maybe not this side, because it's kind of far. I get all turned around, depending on how I have this stuff set up. So we'll see where is... I guess we'll just have it come over here. If I can plant the, uh, the dock here, I probably will, because it is a little bit of a shorter distance. Let's get our uh, speed cranked up again. We should see this show up, well, sometime soon. This also would allow us to be a little bit more uh, north-facing. Hopefully. It, it it does mess with me when stuff's turned around. Alright. So, let's see. Is it... Yes. Okay, so I can, in fact, build a trading post, which we'll go ahead and do. Now, yeah, calm down. I have no idea how to pronounce this, so we're just gonna we're just going to roll with it. So, of course, what we have to do here is get started like we always do with some farms. Actually, let's stop. I already know about all this stuff. Stop it. Put a marketplace down first. Yes, I know about windows or valuable construction materials. Stop it. We, we've been over this. All right. And then, oh, my God, I swear. <laughs> stop it. I already know. You told me. All right. Okay, you're mocking me now at this point. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> this woman is not going to rest until I build window factories, I swear. Come on. Okie dokie. So. Yes, yes, I understand. A window factory I cannot build. Please do not ask me again. Take me off your list. I am on the I am on the do not call list. You'll get the job done and done well. You hear? Are you sure about that? What what do you even want me to deliver? Hmm. It's a simple business, see. Yeah, right. Okay. Now if I can get her to stop reminding me about uh everything here. So let's go to her lighthouse and pick up our whatever she's got for us. Hopefully it fits in the I schooner. Could simply go to Prince. Fruit doesn't uh, indeed taste half as bad as they said. You know. Hmm. 
need consumption. I mean, we're making plenty of stuff. I, I, I should probably avoid doing it too much fake news. Because she likes it when we don't do fake news. Yes, I know about Windows. I swear. All right. Such a thrill. All right, so now... Oh, it's in the middle of nowhere, huh? Tell me about Windows one more time. <laughs> Ten tons of none of your business. All right, that's it. We're, we're going to have to build this window factory. She's never going to shut up. Jeez, so, come on. So I think, I really hope we don't run into pirates. Because I know that was a, uh, a possibility, and that's actually how we lost our first flagship. Just went a little too close to her hideout up here in the corner. Alright, this is actually annoying. Alright, oh look, here we are. Alright, so that was a little bit of a sketchy adventure here. So, now we can finally get her to shut up about windows, I swear. Why do we have the danger music? Um, we have a fire station over here, right? Do you call it altruism? Well, thanks for the money. I didn't need it. The fire left ruins behind. All right, let's uh, renovate those. You don't have any fish? I know. We'll get there. All right, we have to start building windows, or we're just going to have her spam us the whole time. So, of course, by making uh, sand mines, you can mine sand, as one would logically expect. Refine it at the glass makers to make glass, combine with the lumberjack huts we already have, and make stuff at the window makers. So, let's find ourselves a nice spot to stick these things. Again, they don't have to all be in the same spot, but you do end up getting bonuses later on when you upgrade through the artisan tree your uh, docklands and everything. So, it would behoove us to try to keep things at least somewhat close together. Is this really going to let me build that far out? Wow. Okay, let's uh, was not expecting that. That's actually kind of uh, kind of nice they do that. I don't know how realistic it is to just have this kind of in the middle of nowhere, but if I can actually place this out here and it not get mad, then uh, I guess we'll see. No warehouses in range, huh? Can I, so let's see, under the harbor, a depot, a depot, whatever you want to call it. Now, if I can build this right here attached. Now, if that counts. Oh, I swear to God. All right. No warehouse in range, huh? Well, what's that? Or is that just increasing the overall storage capacity? So maybe I was wrong about how this works. Do I have the option to make a key here? Mmm, don't like that, but I can. I can do that. Tell me about Windows one more time. Now, if I place this, is that going to be in range, or is it just going to yell at me here? Okay, so maybe we can't put that there, just because it lets me actually place it. Probably doesn't mean that's where that needs to go. Yeah, this is going to have to be uh, stuck in somewhere else. Yes, yeah, so let's just move that out there. That's fine. We'll have to connect our uh, roads up here. There we go. That should satisfy them. So now we're mining some sand. Come back over here to... Yeah, it was in the artisan tab. We need to make a glass maker. Try to find a decent spot for it that's not super... Uh, inconvenient glass maker and then a window maker right next door probably for convenience 
makes the most sense. And we're going to have to figure out what the actual correct ratio is of uh, sand mines to glass makers to, to window makers. And right now we have a huge deficit of artisans, so we need to go ahead and upgrade some of our houses here, which we can take a quick look at and see there's a few that are actually uh, eligible right now. And we can actually build, of course, these do take resources to upgrade. So we are probably at some point going to run out of stuff we can actually upgrade. So keep an eye on that. And of course, artisans pay out significantly more in terms of income. We only have a handful of artisan houses, I think maybe maybe 12. And we're already making almost a thousand coins from them versus 2000 for workers. And we've got a lot of worker houses. So we'll need to make sure we keep an eye on how this is developing and not get too, uh, not get too comfortable overbuilding or underbuilding for that matter. But as long as this number is positive, I think we're probably doing pretty good. We'll see. That's, that's what seemed to work in my, uh, my other playthroughs I've been messing with. So let's see, people are complaining now, full output storage. So that means our uh, warehouses are not up to the task. So we can actually upgrade these. A special edition. Oh. Interesting. So that and Besa is actually a place you can go in the, uh, the yes. That's a place you can go thanks to expeditions, which I guess somebody else unlocked it first. We're not seductive charts. I think you might've been spending a little bit too much time out at sea, my guy. We'll uh, we'll get to that later. But uh, what that is, is it's the new world part of the game where you can grow different crops and have different production things that you will need later on to make stuff here, which uh, we'll get to when we get to it. It's a little bit more advanced than we're gonna get to today, probably next time, maybe the time after that, that we, uh, get together and play Anna. We should be able to get there by then, but there is still plenty to be done. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Are we actually making, making windows with any amount of haste? I guess we have the, we have the stuff for it. We probably do need to have, uh, our glass a little bit, uh, a little bit faster on the uptake here. So let's see, can I fit? Ah, uh, see, the, that's the problem with the way this coastline is set up, is stuff just doesn't fit exactly where you want it to go. It's very close. Very close, but it uh, doesn't seem to want to play nice a lot of the time. So let's see, we'll have that one connect up like that, and that should, should be alright. We'll go ahead and get another sand mine down. I think the way this is set up, I'm going to have to uh, have these roads connect here anyway. Just so everything can get uh, where it needs to go. But like I said, um, ooh. We can go ahead and upgrade a whole bunch of these warehouses because we are going to need the storage space. Just keep an eye on our balance here. We don't want everything to go upside down. These guys are still functioning. So the balance of all the different goods that you're producing will constantly change as you're going through upgrading different things so you, you kind of always just want to keep an eye on it because it can get very out of hand very quickly and uh, then you can just uh, kiss any amount of profit goodbye because they're going to be oh no I'm going to make anything so yeah see now there goes our profit so something has clearly become off balance but we also have our secondary island here that we haven't done hardly anything with because these guys are uh, they're just itching to do something right and remember we have our fertility for hops so we want to start growing that immediately so we can send it back to the other island to be uh, turned into beer because there's all there's all sorts of stuff that is going to be a requirement for and then of course everything after that has to have you know it, it, it builds on it builds on itself so let's see yeah the beer Production chain is here. We have to go ahead and put in a hop farm. Go into the farm. Actually plant everything. Let's see, 96. Perfect size, square field like that. 
And of course they need somewhere to put everything. So we'll just have to stick a warehouse right there and we'll let them get uh, get doing that for a little while. Probably is going to be a good idea to grow grain as well because, well, uh, space on the other island is going to become a premium pretty quick. Are we out of... Uh, oh, we don't have wood. That's right. How could I be so foolish as to not at least have a lumberjack hut <laughs> over here? Right, we're going to need to... Uh, we're going to need to make sure that we actually have stuff set up correctly here. Can't just fly by the seat of our pants anymore. All right, so we'll get that going. That should be fine. I'll go ahead and add a couple more houses because we're going to need them when we have that farm operating as well. Of course, we can't. Yes, I know. I know it's a blueprint. We've talked about this. Oh, it's not even going to let me blueprint the roads, huh? Because I don't have the money. Oh, yeah, we are a negative, folks. So let's uh slow down real quick. Because all we have to do to get positive cash flow is upgrade a couple of these uh, houses here. Fortunately, we have plenty of extras in every single level of a uh, workforce that we have right now, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Ah, uh, because now we don't have the materials. The artisan uh, upgrade requires this. steel. Iron, I guess, that we don't have. Or I guess that is steel. I don't know why I always managed to get that wrong. But now our uh, balance is going up. Not the new world that I'm not the going there yet. Calm down. Ah, so now, now we can build tourism stuff like this public mooring. We're going to... Uh, yes, yes, I know. I just wanted to get a little bit of positive cash flow going. All right, Captain Tobias, I already know, but for the benefit of the viewers, let's go through this. So we're going to go ahead and build the main wharf on the Docklands. Yes, I know. Thank you. Main wharf. So this is like an area of effect building. You can put this somewhere and everything you have within that stretch of land gets whatever bonuses you apply into the slots that it can hold. So probably is in our best interest to actually put this kind of in the middle here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move our depot here out of the way. I'm so glad this game lets you move stuff. It is just really bad if I redo any of this. But if we go ahead and put in a main wharf right around here is going to allow us to have access to most of the stuff we need. Uh, obviously, you can see the construction cost in the corner. We don't have everything we need to make it right now. We're in the process of doing that, so it's going to take some time, but I did want to go ahead and put that down so we do have something to work toward. And you can see as we actually get this planted, it's not there yet, but we can see like what it's actually going to let us do, which is really cool. Of course, we have access to our keys like we normally do, but then we can also have stuff like piers, which are going to open up extra slots for ships to trade in. Uh, repair cranes, as the name implies, it repairs ships. Harbor Master is kind of like a trade union that we would have over here for our uh, workers. It just allows bonuses for uh, items related to trade, uh, loading wharfs, and exports office. So there's different things you can do, and there's also some other stuff that will get unlocked eventually as we get there. But right now we have uh, we have some workforce discrepancies we got to take care of. So let's go ahead and start upgrading some of these guys. Probably want to avoid upgrading anyone to artisans because we already have a ton of them. So let's focus on our farmers. And we're creating a deficit of those. So we're going to need to uh, make some more farmers. We'll do that in a second. Oh, not possible, huh? Is that because we don't have any, uh, any wood? Anyway, we have a massive farming deficit, but like I just said, that is something we can fix because we have access to uh, more of these houses we can build. Uh, before we get too far though, I do want to go ahead and put in, where's the church? I always want to say that's some sort of nautical thing because it has that ship's bell looking uh, element to it. But if we put a church here, then we can stop having things in the newspaper talking about how we're godless heathens. So that takes care of that. 
And then we'll just put in a couple of these until we get back over the line of, I guess, negative farmer workforce. We, we do have everything we need to build those houses because it's literally just wood. So that is looking fine there. I think we'll just stick these in like so right there. Let's stick another couple houses on this side. Get out of here, quest book. And of course, as these houses get more populated, then we'll have a, a lot more farmers. I think that should be enough houses if everything fills up the way it's supposed to. Of course, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, see, we just need the money to build the church. Uh, they're saying insufficient workforce. Yes, we know, we know, we're working on it. It's a resource management game, and I'm not currently managing the resources very well. We're trying to get some stuff done, though, so it should get resolved pretty quickly. If we hit fastest simulation, you will see this number start to slowly tick up. Well, the absolute value tick up, at least. So, I think we're still going to be fine, so I'm not tempted to mess with that too much. Let's come check out these guys down here. Why are we mad? Oh, okay, we're not that mad. So we should have... Uh, where is... Okay, we have five. Five hops. So what we're going to do eventually in our friend, who I already forgot what his name was, but our friend who's uh, guiding us through the setup of the uh, docklands and everything, we'll talk about this a little bit when we get there, but one of the most important things you can do in this game that we really haven't done at all yet in this playthrough is trade. And you can trade between uh, towns that you own, between your uh, different AI players, or yeah, I guess if you're playing a human player online, and also these other entities like our uh, Sir Archibald Blake. We've already sold some ships to him. It's a very useful thing. The prison. If I can remember where the prison is. Is it down here? No, that's the exotic emporium. This is the pirate. Pirate faction. Where is... Have we not found the prison yet? Wormwood prison. There's always somewhere on the map you have that prison. Oh, they've got a fur abundance on this one. We'll have to uh, keep our eyes out for that. But there is a uh, there's a prison on the map. We should probably go ahead and explore to find it if I haven't unlocked it already and I just am dense. But he will buy all sorts of useful stuff. Like if you produce a lot of soap, you can make a ton of money selling soap to the prison. Yes, I know. We're all thinking it. <laughs> so let's just move on. But the, uh, the prison will buy a lot of soap and each of these other players that you're interacting with will have certain things they want to buy. And of course, like I said, you can always sell ships to this guy. It's an easy way to make money early game. And something that we're going to try and continue as soon as we have the uh, rest of our uh, stuff figured out. So we don't get too bogged down. So let's remember we have to have everything connected via roads. So that takes care of that. Not that we really need all that to be connected exactly the same way. Let's go ahead and build our church. And see, just like that, we didn't build any more houses and the farmer workforce is back in the positive. So love to see that. Everything is looking nice there. They're missing grain because they probably can't grow enough. So let's come back over here. We should have enough uh, wood now to go ahead and build. And we do, so we're gonna go ahead. Nice day for what exactly? You keep saying that. All right, so now we have 96 out of 144 fields. Uh, I think might actually. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't delete that now, can I? I wanted to leave space for silos, and I didn't do that. So we'll clear those six spots. Come back in here, and then I think this is actually. 144, yeah, that works. We'll just have this connect all up here. We'll put another farm in these spots. Oh, I can't build a silo yet. That's right, because this hasn't uh, hasn't advanced far enough, has it? So they need farmers. Oh, that's right, we already have these set up. Let's just go ahead and turn those into houses. And then, of course, connect everything up with roads here. 
All right, and now they're complaining because there's insufficient workforce. You're gonna get there. Just trust the process. Actually, since we're already here, let's just do the same thing again. Down here, get that all ready to go. And that should help substantially next time we uh, have to build some more stuff. Or maybe the green farm can't actually store. I think it might be the pig farm that has you build the silos. Well, regardless, we're going to end up probably doing a lot of that here anyway. So we'll leave it alone. Go ahead and connect that up. There's not really any reason to, but we're just going to do it. So now what we've done is we've started the uh, basics of something that we have to export over to our other island. If you come in here to the trading post, you can see we're not doing that right now. Calm down. We have our grain. It's very small amounts, but it will start increasing as we have more and more farms. Feel it reflects the time. All right, so what are you what are you saying about me? And it balances out. That's fine. That changes. Really? Hmm. Don't patronize me. So what we're gonna do again? We're gonna set up trade in it just a little bit, but for right now, since we have our flagship here, let's go ahead and just transfer our hops and our grain into the hold. What I want to hear about you. Since when is Y spelled Y E R? So you want to pay me that much money and you want me to destroy something. I don't have any ships that can actually attack anything. I've got my flagship and that's it. But I do need money. I'm not as scary as you thought, eh? So I got to destroy a frigate with my flagship, huh? All right. Well, first off, let's, um,. Let's examine just how awful of a catastrophe our finances are in real quick. Where is... Oh, that's the... Is this the pirate? No, this is this other guy. All right, well... Let's go to our flagship. Let's go ahead and uh, drop our stuff off here. Flagship commencing escort. I don't need to escort that. That is a useful feature, though. Yeah, I just... The money going negative like this out of nowhere is actually a big surprise. Why was that... Why has that gone so far south so quickly? It's a very good question. So, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna pause... Uh, pause all of our expensive production stuff over here. I think that's really... Uh, just these two things that are costing a ton of money. But the best way to uh, get a whole bunch of money real quickly is to upgrade houses. But we can't upgrade stuff to Artisan because that requires quite a bit of uh, resources. And actually, yeah, see, none of these are even eligible anyway. So since we have the wood, let's just go ahead and put a bunch of these farmer houses down and then we'll upgrade some of the existing farmer houses to workers. Oh, uh, I can't build roads because I don't have money. Could have seen that one coming. All right, so then we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play with fire here a little bit. Let's just uh, let's just upgrade. A bunch of these houses and deal with the consequences later. I'm not upgrading, uh. No, I guess I could upgrade those. I forgot we still had pockets of these that weren't upgraded yet. Alright, so that has already substantially improved our balance situation. And once these other houses start getting filled up, then that should help as well. We just really want to avoid this getting much more negative or we will absolutely lose. And you don't want that to happen. So here comes our flagship. Put this back down to slow speed. At your, at your service. Let's go ahead and offload. And then uh, go do the thing. Where is our quest book? Yes. So they want me to attack this guy with a flagship that, as far as I know, is not more well-equipped than, uh, than a whole frigate, but, you know, that's uh, that's how this goes. This is worrying me about our uh, 
our balance issues. But what's our what's our motto here? YOLO. Now if we can if we can defeat this guy before we go completely negative, then that's gonna be something. We got the element of surprise. They haven't hit a shot yet, so I like our chances. They're not even firing back. What's the deal? Okay, there we go. Alright. All right, so now we have to collect the uh, flotsam here. Hey, we're positive again. Kind of. All right. So then we have to come back to his ship. Go ahead and slow this down because we are very close to the bad place. Where is all of our money gone? See, we haven't even we haven't even made the glassmakers yet. I'm just going to go ahead and pause all of this stuff. Get ourselves a little bit of a, a balance refresh here. And I think that should be enough to help drag us out of the hole before things get too bad. As long as the number does not get more negative, I think we'll be fine. And he'll give us a pretty hefty uh, chunk of cash here in a second. So we're going to have to uh, figure out what kind of gross mismanagement I did to let the deficit get that bad. Unless it's just one of those cyclical things. Is our future. Us filings swept into an iron tide. The rattle of the workers. Freedom and all right, dude. for all. Greetings, fellow wizard. Pride yes. Sure Thank you for the money. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, man. Your people are rioting. Mmm, we're rioting, are we? Alright. So this is what happens when you don't uh, do not do everything you're supposed to do. We need a police station over here because we don't have one. So let's see. Can I... Uh, oh, no. It's too long. We'll just stick that right there. It's going to take some time for the uh, training jolly police officers, huh? All right. Well, let's uh, stay out of their way. So now we're back over here. We have a chunk of change. We still need to get some more farmers. So let's go ahead and complete all these uh, roads we didn't have before. Unlike Back to the Future, we do need roads to get where we're going. I accidentally pushed the spacebar, but I guess now we can uh, have a an opportunity to show you some of this other stuff you can do. You, there's different scenarios and all this other fun stuff that we're not going to get into today. So let's go ahead and go back to the old world. When we unlock the other stuff, you can also navigate to those. So happy little accident there, that. So we're complaining now about insufficient workforces because we don't have... Why is this a destroyed building? It didn't burn down. Well, that's weird. Well, no matter. We'll just fix all these real quick. Get some people to move in and the farmers should be happy again. Oh, good. It has grown more beautiful. Why? What did I accidentally do to improve things? All right. So, all this being said, we, we still need to make some more money, and we can't make any uh, anything else because we don't have any weapons yet. That is one of the uh, tech trees you have to unlock to, well, build any other boats, which will sell for quite a bit of money. Uh, these schooners sell for 2,500 coins apiece. So, while that's nice, it's not exactly a huge chunk of change. But, gunboats, I did not click on the uh, shipyard. The gunboats, I believe, will sell for 7,500 Ship of the line, I think, could be. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it, it's it's a it's a five digit number. And these guys, of course, sell for more than either of these. But we need to get our weapons up and running. The problem is, we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough of a uh, surplus of funds to really support any of that. So we got a lot of bolstering to do with our economy here. Now, in terms of beer production. We can't shut the storeroom door. They have too many sails. So actually, the only thing that we have to use to build the schooners is sails and wood. And we have tons. So I'm just going to spam click a whole bunch of these. We're going to set a rally point on all of these schooners to be right here in the harbor of the guy we're going to sell them to. So every new ship we build is just going to go right over here. And then in uh, 
10 minutes when we remember that we did this, we just Your click on over here. Good, the riot's quelled, so that's nice to see. We'll just come and sell this all at once, and we'll make a decent decent bit of money, about 27,000 coins. If we sell them all at once, we can just do a piece by piece. All right, so let's see. Let's get our farmers getting in here. Yeah, so they have pretty much everything they need as long as the transportation is taken care of. So we'll, we'll give them a little bit of time to take care of that. Then uh, our schooner here, we'll go ahead and sail over here so we don't have to worry about it. But like I was saying, we got to start making beer so our workers will be happy to uh, upgrade to artisans. We already have grain farms over here. Yeah, I know you don't have any. You don't have any workers. We're going to take care of it. Don't worry. Ship constructed and immediately sailing far, far away. Now, we already have the brewery, so we don't need... <laughs> I love how he says that line of dialogue at a brewery. Don't get high on your own supply. Good advice. So, yeah, they need grain, which we can be importing from our other island. And then, of course, the brewery has to combine the hops and the malt that the malt house produces to make the beer. So what we really need to do is we need to set up an automatic trade between this island and this one, which we can do with any ship. Since we are currently producing and selling ships, I actually should have kept one of those schooners because they are still useful even though they're small. We'll grab the next one that comes out right here. So we're going to use this guy for automated trade, and we'll show you how to do that right now. So we'll go to the trade rep menu. And actually, while we're in here, I'm not going to... Come on. Let me get out of here. I'm going to go to slow mode because stuff can happen in the trade menu and you won't ever know because you're stuck in here. But so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have our station here and then our second station here. So what we do is we select goods we want to load in our first, which right now we're not going to load anything. We're just going to use it for one way transport. New Island is going to be loading up grain and it's going to be loading up hops. And then we have to come in here to unload and unload. So now this is balanced. That's two uh, two cargo slots. We do have both of them active right there. So we'll just hit accept on that. And that ship will just go ahead and automatically sail between. So you can see right here, it's got a little jagged line going over the mountain, which is objectively hilarious. But... It's going to take its sweet time to get over there. It'll load. It'll automatically go between our different uh, our different trading posts. We can actually upgrade this one for more storage if we wanted to. And then that will provide a steady supply of hops, even though it is currently, at the moment, small to our brewery, which we will uh, be able to turn into beer, which will make our workers happy, which will let us turn them into artisans. And then we can focus on all of the needs that the artisans have. And boy, I heard there are a lot of them. And we already talked about canned food, which fortunately we can grow the red peppers here. So we're going to want to get to that before too long. But they also need sewing machines, which of course require the iron and the coal that we're already producing over here. Of course, steel. And then you just have to build a sewing machine factory. So really there's nothing else we have to build to make sewing machines except a sewing, a, except a sewing machine factory. Say that five times fast. But uh, we'll just go ahead and stick that down at some point. Probably a little bit more toward the end of this one. And then we'll just have to make sure that we, first of all, actually re-enable our mines after uh, all of our fun we just had with our budget disaster. So we'll turn those back on. And of course, our balance immediately starts tanking. But that will not be a permanent thing because we're going to we're going to optimize some stuff. Do. So we're still negative 63 on the uh, on the farmers, huh? Well, I think we're just going to have to go ahead and build some more of these houses. I was going to try to uh, hopefully avoid doing too much more construction like that. I think, um, yeah, we'll just have that come in there. And just cram everything in. 
that'll help us get a little bit uh, better there. Now we've got Marketplace. Should still be accessible for most of these guys. This area over here could also probably use a little bit more attention. We do have our clay pit. We have our trade union with the uh, the drill, which helps all that. And these people want I'd what? Like to put before a townsperson. All right, so I don't want to mess with that right now, so we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to detour. we got all sorts of other stuff we need to take care of. But the resident quests are a good way to uh, make a little bit of money. But some of them can be a little irritating. Why are we complaining about output storage is full? So where is your warehouse? Yeah, let's upgrade that. Oh, we can upgrade it twice? Wow. All right. Let's do this one too while we're over here. That one we can't upgrade twice, twice for some reason. So we'll just leave that be. Fisheries complaining that there's not enough farmers. That's because we turned all of these farmers over here into workers. So we can go ahead and just go ahead and make a couple of farmer houses over here. So they have somebody to work there. And they're, they're almost full. But it never hurts to have some more just chilling. So coming back over here. Actually, let's check out what's going on. I guess regular speed here. Who are you? Every okay. Needs a stiff rudder. Now, are you just uh, you just following my dudes or what? What's up? My roots crisscross the globe to ensure I have the best to offer. The mild shrimp. That is a great name for a boat. At any rate, they're gonna come down here and trade all this stuff, and of course. I guess she's down here to do whatever business she wants to. We're going to go ahead and keep adding some more of our farms that we need here. That was the wrong thing to click on. Yeah, let's make another hop farm. And I thought I had a good spot for it. We, again, we don't want to get in the way of our, our wood guys. So I'm just going to, you know, do uh, this exact same thing here. Get us to 96 right there and then we'll just loop this all the way back around twice the hops output love to see that and then we'll continue growing all of our grain okay yeah that's what we want I think maybe not Maybe I'm in the maybe I'm in the wrong spot now. If I can't actually build a silo here, then it doesn't really matter. So we'll just uh, we'll just stick that there. That's fine. Now can I get to 144? Oh, it's a perfect square. Yeah, 12 by 12. Duh. I remember my times tables. Why? <laughs> you you can trust me to remember my times tables. It hasn't been 23 years since we did those <laughs> the third grade. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. I think we're probably going to still need some more hops farms. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to just have a bunch of these things anyway. So we'll just uh, keep on keeping on. And, of course, we're going to have to build some more farmhouses. We'll take care of that in a second. All right, there's our 96 again. We don't need to have another road at this point in time because they're already, uh, well, they're already set. Good to go with that. So let's build ourselves... Oh, see, now we're uh, getting a little low on cash. We'll fix that, though. So now we speed this up. This this is going to uh, fluctuate a little bit, but it is getting uh, a little precariously negative. We're not doing that yet. Calm down. Next time. All right, so now that we're uh, very firmly in... Oh, now it's a village, huh? That's right, because now we have enough to uh, start building stuff for workers, which we probably won't do right away. Uh, see, they don't have a warehouse in range. We'll have to fix that after we sell some ships so we can have actual money. Yes, yeah, so we've got three of them right here. Let's move these guys a little bit further in. Speed up. Now we can actually sell these. Anyone for croquet? I don't want to play croquet, but I do want you to buy my ship. New orders. Sir Archibald Blake. And there we go. Just like that, we got 7,500 bucks out of it. So that's a quick, easy way to save ourselves a little bit here. 
especially if we're a little unbalanced early game. It'll all get itself figured out eventually. We just have to start doing more trade, and we will with other people in a little bit here. But first, let's go ahead and remember where the warehouse is. There it is. Find ourselves a good spot. Stick that guy right there. And he's going to have a whole lot of hops pretty soon. We only have three here right now, but once these really get going, we're going to be in a good spot. And I think uh, we should, yeah, they, they can still keep growing and uh, get out of this worker deficit. And there they are, just like that. But our balance deficit just keeps growing because we have so much maintenance. And that is uh, unfortunate. Because it, it's, it's kind of this delicate balancing act that's very, very easy to upset. So like right now, if you look at our, our balance sheet here, the artisans are not bringing in nearly as much money as they did when we started getting them in. It's about half. I dream of better. So you take a look at their needs, and it's pretty easy to find out why. We haven't kept up with demand for a lot of the essential services that they, that they want, so we need to address that before things go uh, upside down. And they will, and they will quickly. So right now we have over here, of course, our sheep folds, but what we need more of are pig farms. And surprise, surprise, we also don't have enough farmers to run them. So while we still have the cash, let's go ahead and build some more pig farms. Try to find a couple of good spots here. Make sure we're not in range of anybody else. Yeah, because the pig farms, we have ability to do five of these. I think, yeah, we can do uh, right there and then also a silo. Which will stick there and then we'll put our uh, thing here. Yeah, this lumberjack hut, unfortunately, is going to move. Well, it's not really unfortunate that it has to move. It's just, you know, a little annoying to kind of keep up with. We already have the one here. So let's put this guy right outside his range, right there. And that's going to free up some more space closer to our economic center to put more valuable things than a, uh, a woodcutter camp. So I'm going to go ahead and build another of these pig farms. Because this is a, a pretty dire situation with regard to our, our supply for everybody. But it's nothing that can't be fixed. Put that in there, and then of course another slaughterhouse. Put it right next to the other one. And this should help take care of some of our supply issues with the artisans. And we'll get all of their money back. Because look how look how low supply decline is. A critical supply of sausages. I don't know that I've ever heard a sausage supply described as a critical situation, but we're uh obviously going to want to rectify that as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and put in some more houses. We do need to be cognizant of uh, kind of spreading ourselves a little too thin over here, but we also don't want to take up prime real estate with the lowest level houses in the game. And I can't really do too much else here. Of course, we have these guys here. So let's actually come in. I think, yeah. We'll just come all the way along like that. Leave some space. We'll fill the, the rest of this later, but I did want to have uh, a... Do. Look, he doesn't have a warehouse in range, really? All right, well, then we can just build ourselves a road that will connect him to the warehouse because we have plenty. Unless he doesn't, uh, doesn't think this is in range. And what the heck, let's just build another warehouse. Which I can't because we don't have money, so... It's funny how that works, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I can't put anything else here anyway. So that's fine. Alright, so we're negative once again, but... Our little trick earlier of automatically sending the schooners over here... Means that we're going to not completely go broke, because we can just sell these ships for cash as they come in. Is it cheesy? Yes. But does it work? Also yes. Don't tell me I've missed another appointment. Well, stop missing appointments. It's not my problem. And now we have cash. 
and we still have a crisis of armor workforce so let's uh, let that run for a little bit you can see our sausage meter is going up and down wildly as these things get uh, in and out of production but once it stabilizes and goes up then of course we'll have more artisans move in and we'll get more income from them you know it's, it's just one of those things it's a vicious cycle so let's see I thought oh yep they're complaining there's not enough workforce to run the farms alright All right. I guess we just have to have a whole lot more farmers now huh alright that's outside the range there that's fine we'll just go ahead and start uh, expanding up this way and somewhere up here we're gonna have to take a look at area of effect on uh these other buildings like this church theoretically once we have this uh, all set up here we should be all right the uh, roads cutting through and everything should still let people yeah as far as market goes I think we're still good still in range uh, fire station is uh, not gonna cut it for everything else over here so we're gonna need to again not take up all that other space that we currently are using to uh, take care of wood cutting. Oh, I didn't do myself any favors with the layout over here, did I? Let's stick that there. And these people could use a pub also, but this, this will fit nicely right over here. So we'll leave that there. Put our roads in place. And now let's check and see how these guys are doing. Yeah, the sausage sausage issue is still kind of prevalent, but it will get solved eventually once we are able to get production ramped up appropriately. Go ahead and uh, build that warehouse so these people have somewhere to put stuff. But we have green farms that, again, do not have enough people working there. Their production probably becomes a little bit better when we have a full house, but they're only missing one. So we're going to want to go ahead and add another grain farm. Ship constructed. You know, it's just kind of an endless, uh, an endless trying to uh, fix everything contest. But, I mean, that's micromanagement. That's, that's what these games are. I don't want to remove adjacent buildings. Stop it. I want to build grain fields. So we'll just kind of surround everything here. 90 units. I think we should be able to get pretty close. 142, and they, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna say they want to use all 144. It puts a tooltip on the building, but this gives us three slots right here, or three squares rather, to put some more farmer houses, which isn't ever a bad thing, because we can just kind of wrap this around like so. Who cares if there's <laughs> there's a a little field right there in your backyard that's not going to hurt anybody. But now we have another grain farm. All the slots are occupied and we should slowly start to see things turn around because of course everything is connected. And now hey look at that our sausage need is on its way up and the bread need should be on its way up as well. And then happy artisans means more artisans means more money and look at that our balance is well at one point it was up to plus 1000. And there it goes again. Yeah, the bread situation isn't looking fantastic. It is looking better. But where did I put... Yeah, the pub is here. Where did I put the... Uh, well, anything it's for making bread. Inspection. That's the sail maker. That's the grain Good farm. Somewhere. Oh, the potato farm. I forgot about those guys. Schnapps distillers. I completely forgot about those guys. Hmm... Oh, you know, we need a... I'm confident it's ready to go. We need more work clothes. Okay, net positive. That's a low risk of explosions. Wow, that's always a... Always a plus, huh? Alright, so let's go ahead, take off a turbo speed real quick. We need to address our shortage of clothing. Because right now, they... I guess, are actually, uh... 
are actually okay in terms of supply. They just don't have enough output. So let's come back here and we'll just go ahead and build a framework knitter somewhere where it's going to fit. And that is another one of the challenges here is finding a spot where stuff will fit when you've built up so much of the map in this area, at least. There's not really, not really a lot of great spots to put any of this stuff. Because it also can't be too far away from storage either, where you get into some very, uh, very unfun challenge situations. I'm not going to fit another pig farm up here, am I? N no. So I'll stick with that right there. They should still be able to handle all that. And of course, people working in there are farmers. But we do have a pretty robust uh, workforce surplus. So that should be okay. And that will also make our farmers happier across the board. We loves you, we does. Do you now? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what you have to say when we have more clothing instead of just a little bit. But Good it is stuff. going up. And I think if we sped this up, we'll see this very quickly start to creep up toward the top, which is exactly what we want. Of course, supply ebbs and flows. I see sore between have and have not. Well, that's the life of an artist. That's that's just how it goes. You really want, you really, really want canned food, huh? Well, at least they're happy about the education. We just need more bread. So let's come back over here to our bread production chain. Uh, flour mills. Where where did I put the flour mill? There it is. We have... Okay, we're not out. We're not out of flour, but we could probably use some more. So let's uh, stick another two in here. Yes, we'll, we'll put two in. That's fine. Because we're going to put in a whole bunch more of these grain farms. And we're also going to be getting some from our other, uh, other colony. So let's put a bakery down as well. Try to find a good spot. Can I put two here? Oh, I sure can. Yeah, let's turbocharge. Turbocharge our bakery action here. That is a brand new sentence no one has ever said in the history of time. Hey, we got ships to sell. Aye. Yeah, come on down here. We're going to sell you to our friend Taking the Sir Archibald and get some more cash. I present my humble... Taking the initiative. And as soon as we can make other stuff, then of course we'll make more money selling ships. But again, very easy, early game uh, money making method that you don't really have to uh, have too many advanced technologies to take advantage of. And we still have a ship in the construction queue. We will keep uh, filling this up as time goes by here. But I really, I wanted to get into... Uh, making other boats as well, because we can use those when we go on expeditions. You have to have an expedition ship, and uh, it's firepower and all the different items you load into it kind of play into the success or the failure of uh, expeditions you take. So that again, that's why I didn't want to get into those right now, because we don't have the resources really to succeed on that. And I want to make sure it's good if we do it, right? That's how we operate. We have plenty of steel, so I think we can come over here to our... Uh, weapons production chain and build ourselves a weapons factory. Find a nice spot over here. Um, yeah, we'll put that right there and then have our uh, have our little road come in that way. Uh, this warehouse needs to be upgraded for sure. And what this is going to do is going to take our steel beams and turn them into weapons and then we can build gunboats and other naval vessels to either sell or use. So uh, that's going to, of course, draw from our worker workforce. I always thought that was kind of a funny label. But they will get to uh, work making stuff for us, except we now they're saying... The requisite now we have... Oh, they don't have raw steel. They, we have steel beams. So that is something that's being consumed by the steelworks. So we need to come over to where our... Uh, that's the warehouse. Where in the world did I put... Okay, that's right. That's the furnace. We probably need to have another... Uh, 
Yeah, we need to build another furnace. But I can't put it there because that's where a charcoal kiln gets all of its stuff from. Those of you who have watched my Ostra videos are going to be familiar with the old charcoal process. Kind of the Achilles heel of uh, some of our stuff. But once you get it going, it's all good. And we'll have that connected up right there. Another furnace going to gather iron and coal, of course. We have our iron mine here, and we should have somewhere a coal deposit we're not using. That's an iron deposit, coal deposit. Yeah, so what we're doing now is we're turning trees into charcoal, which, you know, is something that works. But you can also just dig coal right out of the ground, and it generally tends to be a little better anyway. Oh, but, oh, no, we can't we can't do that yet because that's a separate... Uh, is that in the uh, sewing machine thing? Yeah, coal mine, yeah. So let's stick that there. We'll so long ago, I'd have dealt with an this escort. I, I'm not. I'm not doing escort quests. I don't have time for that. You lack the guts to carry it through. Don't get mad at me just because I said no. You're allowed to say no. In fact, it's healthy. Know your limits and know what you're capable of. It is okay to decline something, in a game and in real life. You know yourself best. All right, so weapons factory. We should actually be producing. We don't. Ha we haven't made a single one yet, really. Okay, that's the progress bar on that. So now we should have. Uh, yeah, we got one. Why is our balance swinging so? Well? Okay, the artisans are upset again. I swear. All right. So what are you? What are you guys complaining about now? Oh, you don't have your canned food. Yep. All right. I know it's a struggle. Canned food's really cool. But we haven't uh, we haven't started raising cows yet, and I don't want to build too much more over here because this is where our oil is. So we're gonna come over to this area and see. Actually, let's try up here. Uh, farm modules. I need to make pastures. I can make four of those. That's right. I was trying to think about how uh, one, two, three, four of those right there silo mm. okay yeah that's fine there and I can't build this why oh I don't have money all right well let's uh let's sell a ship it's not gonna get us all the way there but it will get us some of the way there Anyone for croquet? all right so now we have that much we've got to make sure we can swing our uh Swing our income, so I'm gonna just for right now, gonna pause all of the, these are very expensive to run. We'll just pause all this real quick, get our uh, income going up a little more. See, there it goes skyrocketing up. I have to remember to turn those back on in a little bit. But now we should be able to build our cow farm, and there we go. So now we'll have some beef, which we can then use to make our canned food. Our red pepper farm. We are not currently growing any, but we'll go ahead. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no storage over here, huh? Well, uh, they need two thousand to build that. One hundred and eight. See how far out is this going to make me go here? Uh, uh, uh. The music in this game is really good. I don't think I mentioned that when we were. Uh, we did our last video, but it is just amazing. They did a really good job with it. All right, let's build. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I had enough. We'll wait a little bit longer. And then we can get this up and running as soon as that crosses over to 3080. And there we go, red pepper. So that is going to allow us to build an artisanal kitchen. I'm not doing expeditions yet. Calm down. Artisanal kitchen. Which is going to end up going uh, yeah, right here, why not? Then of course you have to have an iron mine to make stuff for the cannery. And we'll stick that down here as well. Somewhere, but again we're not going to get too close to the oil. Because that is going to be a uh, thing we want to keep open. So we'll just stick those there. What are we complaining about? Is it money? It usually is money. And windows that we can't currently make because we have our sand mines turned off. Trying to remember what it is I'll need to do. And our glass makers turned off. 
everything's rather fragile. Yeah, well, you're making windows. Windows are fragile. That's how it works. I don't think we need to worry about building this yet. Um, how much does this cost around 120? I think we can support it. No, regardless, we need to let this run for a little bit. Let's check out down here how we're looking. So we're complaining about full output storage. But I can't upgrade the warehouses. So what's uh No space left here. What's the deal with that? I guess it wants us to upgrade, but we don't have a Ah, we don't have bricks. Don't have bricks. Well, where's the uh, nearest clay deposit? Does this island even have clay? I feel like you kind of have to have clay. Maybe not. So maybe bricks are what we actually need to... Uh... No, that's not me. You don't always need to run a tight ship. All right. We're going to modify our trade routes here. Which are, yep. We're going to go into the trade route menu and modify this to drop off. Oh, I might not be able to do this in one, uh, one go anymore. Uh, okay, uh, bricks. And then offload that. I think that might actually slow this down a little bit, but they do, they do need bricks over there, so we'll just... Uh, what are they saying? Do not possess enough slots to fully support the route, but it'll still work. And we'll uh, we'll have to replace them with another ship just as soon as we can make one. And now you understand why it's really hard to play this game for just an hour at a time. But I will uh, attempt to be respectful of your time on this fine Saturday and uh, wind it down in just a little bit. But I there's just there's so much cool stuff to do in here that it's very, very easy to find yourself just spending an entire afternoon. But once we have uh, 15 weapons, we can build a frigate, which has three cargo slots. Or we can build a clipper if we have 750 artisans, which we're not going to have today. And 750 artisans also unlocks Ship of the Line, which is kind of like your... Well, the flagship has a specific meaning in this game, meaning the one that bears your flag and the one that you get at the start of the game. But the Ship of the Line would be closer to a real-life flagship. The uh, banner carrier, if you will... Well, that's literally what flagship means. But it is the biggest ship that we can access so far. And it holds a whole bunch of stuff. And also has a lot of firepower. It's great for uh, combat situations. But we, we can't even <laughs> we can't even make our, uh, our main wharf. So that'll, that'll end up being next time when we catch up with everything. We are full up on storage here. So we really need to have a, a handle on what we're doing here. So we're full on wool. Our wool is being spun to make fabric for clothing. And the clothes are being produced. So I think it's just an issue of we don't have enough in the middle to keep things going. Yeah, the storage is full on wool. Well, what else is new? Let's build our uh, artisanal kitchen. And hopefully we'll get our 15000 dollars it takes to construct our cannery or too long because uh life is like seawater that only deepens one's thirst all right dude <laughs> whatever you say we're still kind of lacking in the sausage department which i think is a uh, almost unbelievable but at the same time we have grown a lot and uh i guess artisans really want to eat uh eat some sausage and in terms of soap, I think they said they were satisfied with the soap. Perfect, huh? We have... Oh, I didn't want to turn that off. We also have the ability to make soap out of pig parts. Well, that's how you make the soap. We have one rendering works. Let's actually uh, take a minute to look at that. Where did this go? There we go. So we have... We actually don't have enough talus. We need another uh, rendering works. I'm glad we took a look at that because that was going to be potentially a problem. So let's put another one right next door. Double our output. They're saying there's not enough pigs. Well, that that will uh, eventually solve itself. 
If we have enough tallow, we can have another soap factory. There's, of course, this one right here. Um, I guess we'll just put another one right there. And as I mentioned earlier, if you remember, uh, if we make a lot of soap, we can sell it to the prison. But we uh, still haven't found that guy yet, so I think he, he must be somewhere over here on the side of the map. All right, there's our danger music. Oh, look at that fire. Look at it go. Where is our fire station? I hear them. Are they, uh... Yeah, they're putting fires out. See, this is why you build your firefighters first. Except some buildings are almost definitely going to burn down. Do I have another squad I can, uh... Dispatch. Where, where even is? Here, it's right here. No space left here. All right, well, get the, get the out of there. There you go. So I'll take care of all of that. Hopefully. Yeah, if this all burns down, that's bad news. The fire is out of control. Hmm. But I have. Three squads of firefighters. What's uh, what's up with that? Okay, it's not gonna let me upgrade until the, uh, the fire fires out. Behind. All right. Um, I think we took care of all the ruins. We should be all right. All right. Well, that definitely could have gone a lot worse. I think we can count ourselves lucky for that. Let's check out our supply here. Still don't have a lot of tallow, huh? But we seem to still be making soap, so. Oh, uh oh, a beer festival. Curious port town, huh? Alright, so we, we made so much beer. Stop it. We made so much beer that now we're going to have a festival about beer. But how much do we even have? Okay, we don't have any in storage. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, that's fine. We actually do have a canned food shortage, so we'll run that. I can't build it because I don't have the cash. And we don't have enough artisans either, so let's see. Can we upgrade? We cannot upgrade any of our workers to artisans. Because, oh, it's the sausages again. So I guess we really do need to make another, uh, another pig farm, huh? I just have to remember exactly where I can put stuff here. So I don't want them to be super far away. I hate to build over here. But if I put this here, I don't think I'm going to have enough room. Let's try it. Every care. Hey, we'll take, uh, take every care. As you should. Alright, so I got four of those. I can build five. I'm not going to fit a silo in here. If I do this, which is uh, unfortunate. But I don't have to have a silo. I just... I don't have anywhere to put it, so... Oh, the sawmill, that can move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, um... Let's move you literally anywhere else. Yeah, we can put we can put you right there. So then, let's see. I don't want to move that. I want to move... Oh, I don't have the move thing selected anymore. Relocate. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll stick that there and that there. And then we can have our road come back out. And I think I can flip that the other way. Yes. Yeah, let's take this guy, flip him that way. And then we can come back here and put our silo in that spot. And there we go. Now we have another pig farm. Should hopefully help supply their insatiable thirst for sausage. And hopefully this will tick up. Looks like it is. What do you mean a supply is declining? Do we just have to have another uh, another sausage factory? Is that what this is? Okay, these things are right oh here. God, Slaughterhouses. Uh, I guess we just build another one of these. Trial and error. It's, oh, this ends up working most of the time. It's okay not to know everything about a game when you're playing the game. Alright. Let's expand... Upgrade our warehouses. I guess we could just use our upgrade tool to look for those that have opportunities. 
Did we ever turn these back on? No, we didn't. Because we're trying to get to 15,000, and then I'll turn them back on. Because we need to be... Excuse me, need to be making weapons so we can build other ships. No warehouse in range at all, huh? Well, we can build a warehouse. That's always allowed. So we'll stick... Uh, I guess right here is probably fine. All right, come on. I just need 15,000. Just need 15,000. We'll be able to build this and then our artisans can finally stop crying about not having canned food. What a time to be alive. Well, you're euphoric, huh? Well, you're gonna feel even better when we finally get you some canned food. Hey, these guys can upgrade. Let's um, let's do that immediately. Your braces and I'm not doing an escort like quest. Really, Goodbye. One should keep one. All right, so we got three more of those guys. We'll do. Perhaps this island is as yet unclaimed. Uh, which island is that? I haven't even seen that. So sure. Tread new soil. A competitor raised a settlement. We are going to want to uh, claim probably this one before too long. But we'll get to that at another time. All right, let's get out of our, uh, our upgrade build mode. So it seems like our sausage supply has stabilized. We'll go ahead and... Uh, oh, now I don't have enough steel beams. So we do have to turn these back on. All right. Alright, so we will go ahead and... Uh, well, I'm not going to turn the weapons factory back on yet, but I will turn the furnaces back on. It's not currently uh, hurting our production very much. Maybe we can turn the weapons factory back on. Seems like the uh, the balance should be shifting more than it is, but... Uh, we're just going to let that go. <laughs> we're just going to roll with it. And then as soon as we get up to eight, we can build our cannery. And then our artisans will be quite happy indeed. Of course, this is waiting on 50 and $25,000. So, uh, or 50 steel beams and $25,000. We're not going to have that today. I can promise you that. Missing goods. What, what are you missing? You're missing beef? But we have our... Uh, Say that oh, there's no, how, how did I not build one of those up here? I'm going to have to, oh man, I wanted to try to keep this uh, in a better spot here. Um, how far away can I be from that? All right, that's fine. I wanted to put another, uh, another beef farm, cow farm, whatever you want to want to call it. I think I think I can fit everything if I do this. Do. Now, if I do this, it's not ideal, but uh, I'm guessing that will work if I can put a silo Yes. Ha 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 ha. We've figured it out. Then we'll just uh, do one of these numbers. You don't have to have a road there, but it's nice to fill in spots, I think. All right, so we're still looking good on a farmer workforce. That is going to help our cause tremendously. Let's build our cannery. And this will employ artisans. And uh, we do have enough, so that's looking nice. They'll be able to start moving things around before too long. Of gift yeah, sure, I'll take money, that's fine. There's no warehouse in range, so yeah, we need to get better about our uh, warehouse locations. That is definitely a, definitely a problem. We'll stick that right next door. No reason not to. Now they're still missing the goulash, which is made at the artisanal kitchen because they don't have beef, but beef is being delivered. So they should be able to start that right now, and we should, in a pretty short order, have our canned goods for our artisans. And let's go back and check our other island out real quick. More trade occurring. We assist however we may. Loading up the grain and the hops. And we should see in here, somewhere, maybe, 
I guess we never had bricks delivered because we didn't have enough slots, so I probably should have put two ships on that. But it's not mission critical that we have bricks here. It's just uh, if you want to do much more than we have going on right now, then you kind of need them. But we're in a spot right now where we really don't need to worry about it. We just need to keep growing as much on our farms as we can. Which right now is, uh, I guess, adequate. So we seem to be able to supply a reasonable amount of beer. To attention for the bus. Look, we have excess. Airships, huh? So she's part of an expansion. Oh, and here she goes. But I'm not in this for the kudos. My dream is to connect the four corners of the world. So I'm making my designs available to everyone. Your good self included. Yeah, so we can actually build airships when we get far enough along. Oh, now we're a city, huh? We should probably upgrade our roads from dirt paths at some point. But upgrading to a city gets us access to a lot of the other stuff in the artisan tree, including zoos. And we can make a rum. I'm not doing expeditions today. Next time, we'll get into that. But we have all sorts of other fun stuff we can get into. And... I, don't, I guess we don't need this second uh, glassworks quite yet. Hey, we can make a gunboat now. So that'll be next time we'll end up making uh, more ships and everything. But yeah, lots of good progress today. It is a little slow sometimes if you have stuff that doesn't quite work or you have uh, different deficiencies that you haven't been able to figure out how to properly address. But the game continues to be an absolute blast of problem-solving fun. And I hope you've enjoyed watching these past two episodes. We are going to keep it going. Uh, probably, at most, maybe one video a week on this because Ostrov is still doing incredibly well. And we're having a good time with that. And we're going to start a new series in another game tomorrow. So make sure you don't miss that. But at any rate, I am very glad you're here. Of course, if you haven't seen the first video in this series, make sure to check that out. It is uh, going to be linked in the end card. And I hope you stick around for the future as well as all the other fun stuff we've got coming to this one. But yeah, that is all we got for today. As always, if you have any comments at all whatsoever, feel free to drop them below. If you have any uh, tips about Anno 1800, if you've played, I'm all ears. I'm still relatively new to the game, but I am willing to learn and just enjoy talking to you guys in the comments. You're always so nice down there and uh, we have a great time together. So please always feel free. And whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.